Moses had a man with him who was his brother Aaron Aaron was a man that spoke eloquently Moses had a stammering tongue Elijah Muhammad is that Moses and I am his Aaron whether you believe it or not both of us have authority to deal with Pharaoh the modern government of America that's why I speak with authority because I have authority and what comes out of my mouth God will answer it the Quran says O messenger Deliver that which has been revealed to thee from thy Lord. And if you do it not, you have not delivered his message. And Allah will protect you from men. Surely Allah guides not the disbelieving people. It doesn't give me joy to warn you of things to come. It doesn't give me joy to tell you that the judgment of God has now entered America. A warner never warns hoping that the enemy will not heed the warning so that the punishment of God could afflict them messengers of God and warners from God always warn with hope that the people will hear, think, look at the signs and make a determination to take the practical steps that will avoid the destruction that God had purposed to the members of the press the honorable Elijah Muhammad said four great judgments will be used to bring America down these are judgments not by the hands of man they are by the hand of him that we all believe is the creator of the heavens in the earth and those four judgments are rain, hail, snow and earthquakes. Open your eyes and look at the increasing rain, hail, snow. There are several hundred earthquakes that have already come to America little small ones I'm not talking about a little small one God when he sends a warner the Quran says he seizes the people with distress and affliction that they might humble themselves with Moses he prayed that God would destroy the wealth of Pharaoh Perry small WVON I was just, uh, in your last remarks, you were talking about uh, possible charges of sedition and treason. Have you heard anybody uh, or have you been contacted by any reliable sources that said that this might happen? No. What makes you make that statement? Looking at the book. Okay. What book? Do you realize we're fulfilling prophecy right now? You don't have no black man in America that has an argument with the Jews but Farrakhan? Well, who in the Bible had the biggest argument with the Jews of that day? Was it not Jesus? I'm walking in the master's shoes. Take it or let it alone. 
Next question. Um, sure. Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Um, I'm Phil Rogers from Channel 5. Yes, sir. I wonder if you'd clarify the link you see between what is going on with Muammar Gaddafi and the possibility of a major earthquake in the United States. Oh, yes. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that there were four great judgments. And the last of those judgments was earthquakes. And he told me that there would be one coming that would be so great. Not just one city would come down, many. Search the scriptures. When they hung Jesus out to dry, and on the day he gave up the ghost, what happened? A great earthquake. See, you're dealing with a man. I'm sorry. I'm not an insane, delusionist person. You're dealing with a man that you're going to have to deal with. And you can't deal with me the way you deal with your customary Negroes. You can't kill me like you did Malcolm and Martin and others. God won't allow that to happen. And the moment you move on me, God is going to move on you. And I'm talking about terrible disaster. Now, if you think I'm crazy, just breathe a little more. And when it happens, remember, you heard it first. Witnesses say it was Bedlam. Oh, 